In West Slavic and Hungarian countries, fermented rye or wheat, or sourdough, are used to make soups. In Poland, rye is traditional, making zur or zurek, a variant made with wheat flour instead of rye is known in Poland as barsz biali white borscht". Fermented wheat or sourdough soups are also found in the cuisines of other Western Slavic nations such as Slovakia Kislovka, Silesia and Czech Republic Kisilo, with mushrooms and without meat. Poland The sour rye soup Polish, zur, zurek, Belarusian, zur kisilica, zur, kisilica, Czech, kisilo, is a soup made of soured rye flour akin to sourdough and meat usually boiled pork sausage or pieces of smoked sausage, bacon or ham. It is specific to the cuisines of Poland and Belarus, where it is known as zur or zurek diminutive. In Poland it is sometimes served in an edible bowl made of bread or with boiled potatoes. The recipe varies from region to region. In Silesia, a type of sour rye soup known as zerslaski is served in a bowl, poured over mashed potatoes. In the Podlaski region, it is common to eat zurich with halved hard-boiled eggs. In Poland zurich is traditionally eaten at Easter, but is also popular during other parts of the year. It is sometimes flavored with bits of sausage, usually eaten with bread or buns, or even served in a bowl made from bread. The Polish name zur diminutive zurich comes from the Middle High German word suar sour in modern German, meaning sour. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Czech Republic. Kaiselo or Kirkonoske Kaiselo German Kabelsauer Czech Kaiselo is a soup based on sourdough and mushrooms It is a traditional Czech cuisine from poor folk food originating in the northern Bohemia mountain region Kirkonos It is very substantial and it contains an abundance of quality proteins B vitamins dietary fiber and other important nutrients Usage of sourdough is closely related to fermented flour usage in the Polish sour rye soup History Kaisalo has been a traditional daily food of poor people in the Kirkinose mountain region for centuries, primarily in the winter. It is made from locally accessible, cheap, storable ingredients the mushrooms are usually used dried and nutritious ingredients so it provides substantial energy for hard mountain life and work. Historically Kaisalo was made without eggs. Eggs in early times were produced mainly for sale on the market, not for one's own family, so eggs were only eaten on some holidays. Potatoes became widespread among poor people of Czech lands in the late 18th century, so before that time soups of this type were also made without potatoes. Usage of sourdough indicates that kaisalo has ancient origins, probably in medieval and prehistoric fermented cereal porridges. The Kirkinos region is on the Czech-Polish border, and kaisalo is a close relative of the famous Polish sour rye soup. Other Slavic cuisines also have variations of soups based on soured flour or other modes of fermentation, such as Russian okrushka. Finnish hopinveli soup is made by pea and sourdough. More distant relative of kaisalo is for example Japanese miso soup, which also uses a fermented basic ingredient, miso paste. Folklore and popular culture As a staple food, kaisalo plays an important part in local legends and fairy tales, especially in connection to the mythical mountain lord Krakonos German, Rubezel. It is said that he gave sourdough to people and invented kaisalo. In Kirkonos there is also a mountain named Kutel Polish, Kosial, German, Kesikapi, which means cauldron. When fog rises from the valley at bottom of Kutel, people say that Krakonos is cooking the kaisalo, the name, Kaisalo. But not the taste of soup itself, which is strictly regional, is well known in the whole Czech Republic because of Vesernicek children's television series Kirkonoske Pohadki, Fairy Tales from Kirkonos, in which Ants, one of the main characters, cooks kaisalo in almost all of the episodes. Topic <inaudible> etymology. <inaudible> the word kaisalo has etymology its origins in the word kaishe which in czech language means sour the sourdough which kaisalo is made from is called klebový kvasek or 
Klebovy Kvass, not to be confused with the Russian Kvass. Sometimes another sour mushroom based Czech soup Kulida or its variants are mistakenly called Kysilo. The difference is that Kulida and similar soups do not use sourdough but sour cream or milk and vinegar. To reduce this misunderstanding, Kysilo is often called Kirkinovsky Kysilo. Kysilo of Kirkinos. In eastern regions of the Czech Republic and in Slovakia there is a soup called Kyselica soup, but it is a variation of sauerkraut soup. Ingredients and preparation The basis of kaiselo is strong broth made from mushrooms and caraway in water. It is thickened by sourdough which is poured into the broth. Then it is supplemented by onion sautéed in butter, boiled and then roasted potatoes and scrambled eggs and seasoned with salt and vinegar. Due to its ancient origins, kaiselo has no fixed recipe and the preparation is a little different in every family. The recipe is passed on by oral tradition. There are local variants of kaiselo in Kirkinos, without eggs or with hard-boiled eggs, boiled but not roasted potatoes, with or without cream, etc. Nowadays one can purchase an industry-made instant powder kaiselo base for use in big canteens. <inaudible> <inaudible> Sourdough Sourdough is the first basic ingredient of kaiselo. It should ideally be made from rye flour. It can be bought at local food stores in Kirkinos. In the rest of the world it may be bought at some bakeries or it can be made from water, flour and allowed to attract wild yeast. Families in Kirkinos usually grew their own sourdough for years in special cookware called kaiselik or kvasik. <laughs> Mushrooms Mushrooms are the second most important ingredient in kaiselo. Central European edible species such as sep and similar species are used. The mushrooms are usually used dried in the winter. Topic: <inaudible> Serving. Kaiselo is traditionally served hot in a soup plate or bowl. In some restaurants it is served in an edible bread bowl. Sometimes it is garnished with chopped scallion, parsley or other green herbs. The soup is eaten with a tablespoon. The potatoes are often served on a special plate one for the whole table and everyone can add any quantity as needed. Usually salt and vinegar are also on the table for personal seasoning preferences. Kaiselo is a very nutritious food so it is often served as a main and only course, but in small quantities it could be also served as an entree. See also List of soups Recipe for Kaiselo on Wikibooks Cookbook Kirkinos, the region where Kaiselo originates. Sourdough, key ingredient of Kaiselo. Fermentation food, key food processing technology for Kaiselo. Sour rye soup, Polish variation of Kaiselo. Krakonos German, Rubezel, mythical inventor of Kaiselo. Kulida, another Czech mushroom sour soup. Hopinvelli Finnish pea and sourdough soup